I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was Dun 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 started with this video give it a thumbs up bro let's get it up a 500 bro. all right bro we have some incredible nintendo switch news for this video first gotta let you know a secret nintendo is killing it the nintendo the npd numbers for july have come in and Nintendo once again is dominating the charts. I believe the Switch has dominated every single month in the NPD for 2019. It is the number one selling hardware and once again the Switch has topped the charts for July as the best selling hardware for 2019 and there's two sides of it. Nintendo's doing a fantastic job. The system is selling good. You cannot take that away from Nintendo. But also, um, Xbox and PlayStation, they're at the tail end of their console cycle. Nintendo's on their own cycle. And a lot of gamers are waiting for um, new hardware for the new consoles. But this system right here is that fire. All right. So good to see Nintendo is killing it. Um, in sales, they're back on top where they belong. They are the best video game company and when in my eyes the only real video game company. Sony, TVs, Walkmans, Microsoft, um, um, computer software. Nintendo is 100% gaming, bro. Not 100%, they got clothes and stuff. This is official Nintendo shirt. They got clothes and stuff, but their core of their um, um, company is gaming, bro. Gaming at the heart. So that I grew up on, bro. All right, so Nintendo is killing it um, uh, on the charts. And not only hardware, but software is doing... This is what I like to see. Software is also killing it on the Switch specifically. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Three Houses has made history for the franchise. And I called this. I told y'all that this was going to happen. Fire Emblem is the best, had the best launch in, in the series history. And out of every single Fire Emblem game that's ever come out, Fire Emblem Three Houses, bro. All right. I'm still gonna get Astral Chains. The game hasn't pulled me in like it's pulled everyone else in. It comes out in two weeks, bro. I'm gonna try to beat Fire Emblem Three Houses in two weeks, bro. I'm just gonna focus. It's gonna be Fire Emblem 2K. I still play 2K. Fire Emblem NBA 2K. Fire Emblem NBA 2K. And then when Astral Chains come out, Astral Chains NBA 2K. Astral Chains NBA 2K. <laughs> and then when Link's Awakening comes out, Link's Awakening NBA 2K. Link's Awakening, NBA 2K20. Then Luigi Mansion's come out. Luigi's Mansion, NBA 2K20. Luigi's Mansion, NBA 2K20. So that's going to be my, probably my gaming schedule for 2020. I just revealed it to y'all. And we will throw in some other games in between, of course. We'll still be gaming with the sponsors. But that's going to be my gaming focus. Because here's the thing. I love my Switch. I love, I like my Xboxes. Ooh, I like my Xbox. But I don't have time. I'm trying my best to play some games on my Xbox 2. I don't have time to play both, bro. So I have to. I have no choice but to focus on my Switch. So, Fire Emblem is killing it right now, man. And, and rightfully so. This is the best Fire Emblem game ever made. Bro, that opening cutscene, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not your mama's Fire Emblem. This is a real deal Fire Emblem game. So... The game is fire, the game is lit, and 
is crushing it. Specifically, the MPD says Three Houses has secured the largest launch of a Fire Emblem game in U.S. history. Launchment sales tripled those of the previous bestseller in release month, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadow of Valencia. Valencia. Three Houses is already the second best-selling entry in the franchise and should eventually overtake Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Awakening was lit on the 3DS, bro. I love Fire Emblem. I played that all the way to the end, beat it. But Three Houses is going to overtake it. It's not a matter of if, just a matter of when. So good stuff, good stuff, good stuff on the Switch front. Also, this is something pretty dope that Nintendo is doing it's being reported that original Switch systems bought after July 17th can be exchanged for the latest model with improved battery life for free and so <coughs> this is coming from a Redder user V Music he's contacting Nintendo customer support and they verified now you can't just you bought a launch day switch and try to get by this new switch model i'm liking it better screen and battery life the screen is improved too but this is what they, it says it says you have 14 days from the start of the ticket for them to receive otherwise they won't exchange it nintendo checks the console and so nintendo knows if you're lying they know the serial numbers and so don't try to get over on them. You'll just be without your Switch for like two weeks for no reason. Because they're going to be like, no, this is not. This was not sold, bought after July 17th. And so they are going to check. Um, you must include. Uh, Nintendo will then send the revised Switch. You must include everything it came with, including the dock, AC adapter, HDMI cable, everything. They do not want the original box. All they're going to do is recycle it for Labo. They don't want your box. You need to send trackable shipping in case it gets lost. You need a proof of purchase included in the ship shipment. Again, you're going to need probably the receipt from where you bought it from as well. So you're gonna, they're not going to just take any switch. Your save data will not transfer. Make sure your games are backed up to the cloud. If you have Splatoon 2, you're just out of gas, bro. Um, no. I think there's something you could do with saving it to a PC and then transfer. It's a mess. But Splatoon, for Splatoon 2, you have to have both switches and to transfer them locally. All right. They will not give you your Joy-Con back, but they will let you choose between the standard blue and red or the standard gray Joy-Cons that come with the new Switch. I got the standard gray. They, this is all GameStop had at the time, but you know what? I'm sort of glad I got it because... Um, I already have blue and red Joy-Cons, but I have gray ones. I got a good zillion Joy-Cons, bro. Um, if you're looking to call, choose the features and compatibility department. So, you just call Nintendo's customer support, and they'll take care of you. I think this is pretty dope now. This is only if you bought the system after July 17th. Was this when? This must have been when Nintendo started to ship these new systems on the low um and we didn't know because i didn't get mine until august 1st but there you go that is pretty dope that nintendo is doing this because they really don't have to but they're doing it anyway all right next news item as i reported early on today when the news first broke nintendo is having an indie world showcase next monday now this is eerily familiar to what they did last year. I think they had an indie in August and then in September. I know definitely in September 2018, they had a Nintendo Direct. Stay tuned, bro. I think we're going to have a Nintendo Direct in September, bro. But there is a, Nite a Nintendo Indie World Showcase next Monday. At first, I'm like, oh, I'm good with indie games. But like I said earlier, the last indie showcase was lit, bro. They had Cuphead and Cadence of Hyrule. So, Nintendo, I'm expecting one or two gems surprises for this indie direct. I will be live streaming it. Should be lit, bro. And, bro, some stuff went down today in Pokemon World. There was an all-new Pokemon trailer. 
um, um, launch today. I think the Pokemon Championships are going on, right? I don't know if that's going on, but there was a trailer, all new trailer launching today, and Nintendo has revealed more details on online battling. So, uh, it looks like it's going to be a robust system for online. That's what I like to hear. The game just looks clean. It looks dope. It is launching the same day as Star Wars. And this is, again, why I can't play both at the same time. I'm probably going to end up just getting Pokemon at launch. But, um, I don't know. I'm getting Shield. Probably going to get Shield because everybody's going to get Sword. And I'm going to be trading my Pokemon. So, Pokemon um, comes out um, at the end, in November, November 19th or something like that. So, November 15th, November 15th, should be lit, should be lit, and more details on online has been revealed. Um, there's a couple of, I'm not going to go over all the details, but we should have a pretty dope online battling system for Sword and Shield. And last but not least, this news item actually came out about two days ago or something like that, but I never talked about it on my channel. Town, Game Freak has applied for a Little Town Hero as a trademark so the working title was just town when this was first revealed at a nintendo direct last year the final title to this game might be little town hero which i think is a dope title this game is looking good man uh so definitely game freak same dudes that made pokemon and this this game just looks clean can't wait for more information on this game all right, my dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we discussed? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo with your bro. Pokemon. Psych, you can.